Larry the Cable Guy, and I love America. I also love not being in pain. That's why when I need a heavy-duty painkiller, I go with Vicodin. Now, you have to be careful with Vicodin because it has a low therapeutic index. It can be quite dangerous, so you have to be careful with it, just like arguing with your wife. It is also a depressant, so you don't want to take it with alcohol or with any other depressants or while watching a sad movie like Old Yeller. <laughs> Side effects may include drowsiness, upset stomach, blurred vision, and excess thirst. Hey, you're not supposed to take alcohol with that. Vicodin should be taken orally in your mouth, so there should not be any other bodily openings. Not here, not here, and definitely not here. These are prescription drugs, so you can't just go down to your Walmart and pick them up. But if you are prescribed them, they should be taken one to two tablets every four to six hours. Once this pill is ingested, it should have the pain running away like a little girl after 10 to 30 minutes. Don't. A bottle or more that is the prescribed amount because it could end up very badly overdosing. end of the day, Vicodin is a painkiller I trust for all my pain needs. Warning, Vicodin's generic name is actually Hydrocodone, and there are other trade names for it as well, such as Lortab, Lorsa HD, Hycodin, and Vicoprofen. Please see a doctor if you experience any side effects mentioned in this ad. No humans or animals were harmed in the making of this ad. Actual Vicodin was not taken, and only take it if prescribed by your doctor. Do not talk to your doctor if Vicodin is the right drug for you because it's not for a condition or disease. It is solely for pain. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited.